Hey, Super Bowl Sunday is approaching. It is the biggest night in football. It's also one of the biggest nights in the advertising game, if not the biggest. Here to talk about those famous Super Bowl commercial spots, we have to look forward to Rick Laney, Rick Laney Marketing. Rick, as always, I know you come by, get us ready for what to expect. And I guess first and foremost, though, we were talking just before we went on, mm -hmm. the cost of an ad over the years, I mean, this is Super Bowl 53. That's right. Has really gone up. Uh, significantly. Signi the yeah. very first Super Bowl, you could buy a commercial spot for $37,500. <laughs> this year, you can buy 30 seconds for $5.2 million. So, yeah, I would say it's uh, increased significantly. And that's why this has become such, I mean, it's like an event within an event. I mean, obviously, you got the game, but a lot of people just want to look at the commercials. Yeah, it, it, as you and I were discussing, yeah. it, it's funny. There is no other time during the course of the year where a guy like me would come on the news to talk about commercials. Right. The, what's unique about the Super Bowl is this is the one event you have 103 million viewers tuning in mm -hmm. and they're actually waiting to see the commercials. They're not running to the kitchen right. and the bathroom. So that's why the, the advertising aspect of the Super Bowl is a big deal to marketing folks. My goodness. Okay. Well, then let's talk about some of these ads. I know Mercedes has one. I've seen it. I know you've looked at it. It's a great ad. Yeah. yeah. It, it, as is common now, yeah. the ads come out before the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. So most of the ads are out with a very few exceptions. The Mercedes ad, we really like the Mercedes ad because it shows this guy in control of everything around his environment. Um, he's making some comments. It's cute, but better than that, it also appeals specifically to their demographic. Sure. If you're driving a Mercedes A-Class, the idea that you control the world is something you do. You don't go buy a Ford Focus if you want to control the world. Okay. <laughs> so, no offense to you Ford Focus drivers out there, but when you see the ad in its entirety, you'll know what we're talking about. Coke and Pepsi. Yep. Uh, you know, for years they've been a player in all of this, uh, but two really different ads. So talk about Coca-Cola first. Yeah. We have to look forward to. Coke took, uh, which a lot of the advertisers this year have a message of peace and happiness. Right. There's not a lot of controversy with the ads this year like there is for the halftime right. show. <laughs> um, so the Coke ad is a, a really good example of what Coca-Cola can do. And they're yeah. one of the best advertising sure. and marketing companies in existence. <laughs> Pepsi, on the other hand, starts their commercial out with a young lady sitting down in a restaurant and ordering a Coke. Right. And the waiter says, is Pepsi okay? Um, the ad's cute. It has some humorous moments. But again, from a marketing standpoint, you kind of rewind that. It's like you really want to start your ad by acknowledging that a lot of your customers are ordering right. your competing product. Your competitor, product. for sure. Yeah. So we, the, the contrast between those two, two ads is, uh, is, is pretty interesting. Okay, just some of the ads we have to look forward to. And as you already mentioned, tone down this year, which yeah, might very, be a nice little break. Yeah, uh, yeah. No controversy with that. Okay. Um, and most of the ads are out already. Disney being the one notable exception. Disney's bought a number of spots and they haven't leaked anything. Okay, so something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. That'll be the big surprise besides the game itself, Lori. Always look forward <laughs> to both. Yeah. All right. Thanks.